My name is Aaron Graber with Ventrac, and today we're on site with a power bucket and grapple, and we're going to take care of a downed tree. We're doing this project today with the Ventrac because it's perfectly suited for these conditions. Today is January 13th, and we're in Ohio, and it's about 45 degrees. It's pretty comfortable out for January. We've been dealing with several days of 40 to 50 degree temperatures, and that doesn't seem like it's going to stop for the next week or so. We're also coming off of about an inch of rain in the last couple days. And whenever you get conditions like this, uh, the winds are coming out strong and the ground is saturated. And sometimes you get trees falling over like that. Because of the way the ground is, we need to be using a vent track on this property because we're gonna be making a lot of shuttles to move this tree. We're gonna cut it up and we're gonna take all the limbs off and cut it into chunks. And there's actually a spot all the way on the back side of the property that we're gonna dump it all. But to do that, we're gonna have to make a bunch of runs back and forth. This makes the vent track perfect for this project because we're not gonna leave any marks in the yard when we're done, and we're not gonna tear anything up during this whole process. We're only gonna leave one mark in this yard, and that's because it's our camera guy's name. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So we're probably halfway done now, and we've got a lot of the limbs off. We still got a little bit of cleanup to do, but we're down to the main trunk, and we've got quite a bit of weight left, which is why we want to tackle the root ball next. So we want to try and knock some of this dirt back off into the hole before we cut any more of this tree. That way, it doesn't stand up on itself when we cut too much off and get too much weight down with that dirt. So I'm going to take the tractor and 
use the bucket to peel away some of that dirt, knock it off, try and get it back into the hole, lighten it up as much as possible so that we can continue to cut the tree and take care of the trunk. And then we'll do a little bit of cleanup and we'll be on our way. So that's it for this project. It took us about two hours to cut up this tree, remove it, and haul it away to a different part of the property. We actually made 31 trips along the same path. And as far as I know, there is no other machine in the world that can do that amount of work and do that many passes over the same area on a property and do that little damage overall. If you look around, there's some debris and some sticks and stuff left over from the tree actually falling. Um, and some needles and a little bit of dirt around. But if you look at the grass and everywhere that we were driving, it's like we were never even there. So that's pretty impressive. And we did a lot of work with a machine that otherwise didn't do any negative effects to the property. We were able to bring in a little bit of dirt after the fact and level this area off a little bit. So it's ready for replanting another tree or shaping this bed again and growing grass or whatever the property owner wishes to do. What do you wish to do? I don't know what I wish to do. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to happen. <laughs> It'll be grass. Yeah. That's probably what I'd do. Just... So we always want to hear from the audience at the end of these videos something interesting, something that captivated you guys. So we do have one last question. If this tree fell and we weren't around to hear it, did it even make a noise? <laughs>